Hi guys, it's Joseph and Linwood, and welcome back to Taylor Styles. So today we have our wonderful model Christian with us. She's an amazing photographer, and if you're looking for photos, be sure to hit her up. Christian, what's your information? It's at uh, Christian Diane Photography on Facebook. Exactly. I'm telling you, she has amazing work. We've already worked with her once, and we really love the results. She's the bomb. So today we're going to be doing a transformation on her. So pretty much, I colored her hair like how many months ago was this? Like this was like during Christmas time. It was November. Was it? Oh my God, it's forever ago. So it was like November time, and so we did like this cool like it was like purpley shadow root, and it went into like this silver color. So today what we're going to do is we're going to try out all the new Guy Tang products, and pretty much we're going to try out his Silver Smoke line from his My Identity color line on her. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go through and lift her roots, because as you see, she has roots. And we're gonna go through and just lift this all up to about a pale level 10. And then we're going to go in and put a shadow root in there and create some silver magic, aren't we? Since we've got some regrowth, we'll probably have to go ahead and do a little bit different in terms of lifting and make sure we're getting a bit of that mid area and then move it up to the scalp, just so we don't end up with hot roots. And we'll kind of show you guys some of that uh, as we're working on the process as well. So, of course, while we're doing this, we'll be reviewing the color line and letting you know what we think of it as well. Because if you've seen any of the images, a lot of them are very high shine. I'm interested to see how much of that is color and how much of that is finishing product. So, we're going to dive right in without any further ado. So, tag along with us. Alright guys, so you can go ahead and see here how far her hair's grown out and how some of her colors turned a little bit brassy over the time. Um, she's naturally really light, probably about a level 7, probably between, I'd say about a 6 and a 7. And now we're going to go ahead and go in with the Wella Blondor. It's actually one of really my favorite bleaches. Um, it just lifts really nice and I really like the finish that it gives the hair. Um, if you notice now, like we said in the intro, we're going ahead and we're just applying this to that mid shaft area with the lightener. Kind of staying away from that band of where the already processed bleach hair is. You want to be very careful when doing so that you don't overlap where the overlapping causes the breakage. And if you notice we're staying about probably about one fourth inch away from her root section. And we're just working that through in small sections to make sure that we're evenly coating everything so that there's no gaps. And that we're not leaving any parts of the hair uncovered and so that we get an even lift. So now that we've applied it everywhere, you can kind of see what we're talking about here. And it's kind of coming down to the root some. You'll see this little bit of banding right in here. And I always think it's really important to leave that little bit where you can see the little bit darker between the previously blonde and where we just bleached. Because at the very end, it will lighten up because bleach swells and it will come down to that area and it'll be perfect. And that's how I really stay away from overlapping someone's hair. Now we're using our Aquatic Mister Steamer which helps everything go faster. It swells the cuticle while infusing moisture into the hair and keeping the bleach moist so we're not drying out because we all know what happens when bleach dries out. It's not a pretty situation. And so now here we are going ahead and applying the lightener to the scalp area. Um, and we're just working that all the way through and just kind of running it through the section that we already did and seeing how she's lifting. And of course, with her hair being as light as it is, she's lifting pretty well and very fast for us. Overall, this was probably about a seven hour process of coloring her hair to the color that we do. And so now you see it coming in. We see her getting lighter and lighter and lighter. It's always so fun watching the bleach process happen. And now because she had gotten a little bit yellow and I don't believe we got her as light as I wanted to last time, I'm gonna go ahead and run it through. And I'm actually doing this with a Demi developer, which is probably about a little bit less, more powerful than a, um, a tin volume. I guess you could say so. So now we're just running that through her ends just to bring it all to a nice even level pale tin is what we're shooting for here. And she's doing fine. Her scalp's not on fire or anything like that. We used a 30 volume and with Olaplex, of course. And so now we're getting ready to rinse her. As you can see, she is a white, white, white. Nothing brings a stylist more joy than seeing this bleach be this light. I know it's like our little own personal satisfaction party. <laughs> Definitely. So I'm just kind of working it through here, making sure that everything's lifted to the level that we didn't miss anything and preparing to rinse her. And we're going to tone her first with the Lanza Healing Hair Care. That's their 10P Pearl and a 10N. I'm going for like a super white toner is what I want to get first before we apply the silver from Guy Tang, just so that we have an even base to kind of play on and that we cancel as much warmth as possible. So this is us blow drying her hair with that 10P and 10N toner. As you can see, it's so pretty. Elsa who? Elsa needs to move over because Elsa is done. Like, Elsa can't compete with this. 
it's just so pretty and you can see how healthy her hair still is it looks so thick and so luscious and it's just absolutely beautiful her integrity is still there and this is the Gai Tang line for all of you who have not seen it or seen it on Instagram or his social media the my identity line and we are using the Demi uh, right now we're mixing up the 8SS which is the silver smoke series and we're gonna be mixing it with his six volume Demi developer and right now you see me applying it to her roots and we're just kind of starting around the hairline and the perimeters and we are just adding it in there and we're going to do a shadow root with this and blend it into a lighter color from his line. I love the way this smelled. It was such a nice smell. Almost, I guess, I don't know if apples would be a good connotation of what it smelled like, but I think that's something quite similar. Um, but it's I've got a really nice texture and I like how smooth and almost um, more liquidy uh, or I guess if that's not a word liquefied his formula for his demi was it spreads nice and easy and as you see we're just going down here and applying that to the root area now and getting it all on there and now we're going to take the 10 SS which is the silver smoke which is lighter and of course it's a one to two ratio which is nice because it gives you a lot of bang for your buck and we're just blending that in all the way down on the other parts of the hair making sure we don't miss anything me and Linwood had such a good time doing this color we actually did a live video when we were in the salon doing it it was hilarious because we are a mess if you have not checked out our Facebook page be sure to go to www.facebook.com backslash tailored style us and check us out and here we're just applying that last bit to the outer perimeter of the hair and now we are rinsing we are rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. Getting all that color out. It's so satisfying when you get to see the finished product and the finished result. And this is what it looks like wet after we've toned. As you can see, her hair is still so healthy. It's already, to me, got such a natural shine to it. Already even wet. And this is our finished product, guys. I mean, overall, I think the my Guy Tang My Identity was great. I love the finish of it. I love the smell. It spread it well. It was a great quality, and um, it really did a nice job toning. It pulled like a purpley color, and we we're super in love with it. So we thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll, we will catch you on the next one.